We're at zero. All right. Okay. If we hit band, there's four. That's the UHF side. Hit band again, you go back to the VHF. Now, I'll show you what the difference is here. If you hit function and shift, see it's a 600. That's what your shift would be. Okay. We're just going to key it up to get rid of that for a second. I'm going to hit band. Now we're on UHF. If I hit, go to the shift, it's 5,000. That's the typical shifts. 600 on VHF, 5,000. So that's what we want to do. Okay. So, again, I'm going to key it. I, when you key it up, it just stops whatever you were doing at the time. So what we want to do is we're going to set the, for the one four, the 640 machine. 146640. Okay. We want to go to the band. We're in VHF. Or let me start over. We don't want to have any numbers here on the bottom. We hit the VFO mode, and then we want to go to the band we want to set. So we want it VHF. So what I did was I hit VFO, hit the band. Now we're in the VFO. So now we want the frequency. The frequency is one, <laughs> four, six, six, four, zero. Okay, we got that. Now we need to set the shift. Okay. As you can see up here on the top, these are your shifts. As it is, it's minus already, which is what we want. So, if you key up, it goes to 146040. Okay? As you notice, it didn't bring the repeater up. There's a reason for that. We also have to have a tone. So, we hit function and the tone squelch, which is a 4. That's weird. Okay? And it's there. It's 88.5. So we key up. Now, as you notice, we have a minus and a T up on the top. Now it's a minus and a tone. So we got minus, shift, so it'll shift up to the repeater, and a tone to open the repeater. So I won't talk this time, but when I key up, it should get a report back. Okay. So that was it. We hit the repeater. Now we want to save this. Okay, and you want what you want to do is make sure you are on the channel you want. I'm just going to go back to normal. Okay, as it is, we're at zero. Okay, I'm going to turn it to channel. What I did was I went back to memory mode. There's a the M is flashing. That means nothing is in there, which is what we want. Okay, so then I'm just going to quickly hit this again. The VFO. We're in VFO. There's nothing down here. I want to save this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit function and you'll hear a click when I hit the VFO again. Okay. Right now we're still in VFO, but if I go back again, you'll see the memory. The M is no longer flashing and we have a 1. So now if I turn the channel to 1, uh, seeing how this is only frequency in there, you're going to have 640 on everything. Okay. Okay. But if I go to channel 2, see what happens with the M on the corner? Flashes. It's flashing. That means there's nothing in that frequency. So now we want to put another one in. Okay. So right now you're in memory mode. Anytime you see that M, we're going to go back to VFO mode by hitting the VF MW. No M is flashing. This is your VFO. This is the last frequency you actually had put in this radio. But we want to change it to the the one four five one one zero. Okay, we got that. Now it is a minus shift. It's already there. Okay, so we're good there. But the tone is ninety four point eight, I believe it is. We'll find out. But oh. Well, it, you can hear it, <laughs> but I didn't key up. That was, it's just doing it. So we want to check the tone. Hit function and four. And it's 94.8 is the tone. So we got that in there. And what I usually do is, again, I just key up. And, and all that does is it switches it back. So now I got a minus, a tone of 94.8. So if I key up now, it brings it up. So, you always check this before you do it, okay? Now I'm going to go to make sure I'm putting it in the right frequency. I hit the VFO back to memory, okay? It's, and I, that one doesn't have anything in it, channel 2. So, I'm going to go back to VFO, hit function, 
and that beep tells you it did something. So, and then if I go, now I got six four and one one zero in there. So, KF six VAN testing. And you're on low power. I'm also doing low power on all these. Um, <laughs> smart Alec. Always checking a radio, make sure it's working right. Who is it? Oh, yeah, it sounds just good. Just coming up on the first. Oh, guy. Uh, like <laughs> I was like, who is that? Bridge here on it sounds funny. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm helping uh, one of our new hams out here. Uh, he got a new radio and we're programming her up. Well, I will. Okay. <laughs> That's Guy. Thanks, Guy. This is Ken, KJ6EYM. <laughs> okay, Ken. KJ6EYM, is that correct? That's affirmative. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, glad to have you aboard. And welcome to the repeater, to the community, and uh, I'm sure Dave will fix you up quite nicely. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a lot to thank Dave for, and uh, that is a KF6VAN. Yeah, and when you key up, wait a second till it stop, drops. Yeah, he's helped out a quite a lot of people. I think he spends more time helping other people than himself. <laughs> but, um, hey, he's a good guy. Okay, like right there, now you can talk again. Yeah. Okay, once a key's okay. <laughs> all right, guy, okay, yeah, we're getting it all fixed up here, so... Uh, we're going to be having that antenna party also, so if you want to, if that's still being put out, uh, it looks like it's going to be the first weekend of April is what we're looking at. Okay, yeah, but if you hear of anybody who wants to do it, just have them contact me and I'll be glad to set them up. That's what I'm doing today is getting all the packets ready to go and getting Ken all squared away. He's got the same handheld I have, the Elenco. So it's pretty easy to help him out. We're, I'm going to put a couple in, then I'm going to make him do the rest. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> That's the old one of this. Uh, copy that. Okay, well, we're going to get back to programming this. Uh, we've got to get a few more uh, repeaters in here for them. Uh, you have a good day. It's a beautiful day out here. Okay, F6VN.